Hello everyone, welcome back to Free King Productions. I am of course Lacan the Hitman. And accompany me today, my good friend from Wolf Bite Commentaries. The what if master himself, Detail0026. Yes, we did do a binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb playthrough before, but uh Technical difficulties. My computer I'm, froze. I'm sorry about the very first one we did. I wasn't oh. gonna bring that up, but uh, because I have absolutely nothing more to say about this game, we're going to play the what-if game. You will get to points where you will find have the shit to say. But before anything else, we must do the new tradition of my recordings. The, f the ceremonial. There we go. I can't even think of the words. Of fucking hell. It works suck today, by the way, people. Uh, the ceremonial lighting of the cigarette. Mm, he's gonna need it. <laughs> ah, cancer in every puff. That's a little bit far. I'm sorry. That was even a bit far from my, my eyes. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh. Yep. You know. You know what brand of cigarettes I'm smoking? Uh, what brand is here? I'm I'm smoking black lung cigarettes. I'm more of a Newport guy myself. Ooh. Ooh. We have hearts. I don't need any. Fuck. <laughs> the ones what? I don't need hearts. How did you come back alive? Thank you. I will take that. I wish I had it. I like not just pickaxe. Okay, Anyways. So, uh... Talking about the what if game. Uh, what if you got to live in like a really, really like upscale mansion, and like you had all the video games you want, but you had to have a really, really creepy blind guy stare at you the entire time you're there. Like you get to live there for like a week, but a blind guy, it's like just looks really creepy. He's staring at you like twenty four seven. That is a very good question. Um, I don't know. I might actually still take it up. Well, well, here, here comes the main question: Do I get to have it, who I want as roommates as well, and shit like that? Yeah, you get to do. Well, you get to have whoever you want there, but like you know, the, the, you, you're the, stuck uh, with that one dude as yeah, well. The, the blind guy has to be there. Like he's gonna be watching it. Like yeah, I'd do it. Do. I I think I'd take that up. Oh, you haven't seen Pin yet. Pin's easy. This is all he does. Yeah, so like every other Zelda boss, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I could do it. Just because like if I was, I was gonna be on the in the mansion for that long, I would want to be able to enjoy myself, and I just couldn't. It's sort of staring well, at me like that. After a while, I think you would just end up getting used to it. Well, maybe you would get used. To it. But, like it could be weird for certain things, like you know, like if, you, if you're trying to like have sex with your wife, and the guy is just there staring. You gotta think you eventually have to go to the bathroom too. Like, well, you never mentioned whether you'd have to be there whether you're in the bathroom or not. I think he has to be like watching you 24 7. He's oh. blind though, so he can't actually see anything. Huh. He's just being creepy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I could do it. You wanna know why? Why? Because by the end of it, my wife would have killed him within the first day. So. <laughs> just like. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's not really an issue there. He wouldn't be there long. That's, I suppose not. Damn, I need one more coin. Fuck. Oh well. I got Yum Heart instead. Look, watch this. Ready? Oh. Anyways. Oh, um. Okay, so uh, he's the question let's... master, by the way, because I I'm trying to concentrate on a game at the same time. Yeah, well, you can take your time on your answers. Like we understand you're playing. Uh, Actually, that could add to the challenge. Which is... Oh, I know. Uh, let's see. Let's. Okay. Uh, would you get kicked in the balls by Chuck Norris if, like, afterwards he would become like your personal bodyguard? Like, for like a week. And like, we kick anyone's ass for you, like, regardless of consequences. Um. 
Yes, you wanna know why? Why? Cause you left a loophole. You never said if there, if I could wear a cup or not. <laughs> well, you know what? You can you can wear a cup, but I don't know how much that would protect you against Chuck fucking Norris. Uh, I just have this picture of Chuck Norris kicking the cup, and it just shatters, and all the shrapnel just jams into your dick. <laughs> well, that makes it even worse now. <laughs> yeah. It's just like... Uh, little known fact, uh, fucking Bong has given me a couple of nut shots, and like one day I got really mad at him. Like one of these days I'm gonna get a, a, a cup and I'm gonna line it with needles with fucking tetanus and hepatitis and shit. Fucking see if you hit me in the nuts then. So you'd be wearing that cup? I'd be wearing the cup, waiting for the time where he hits me in the balls. So that you're the one that gets the diseases. No, the needles are on the outside. Well, you never said that. No. Uh. No, I'm gonna fucking put needles in my fucking. That's what I was saying. What the fuck? <laughs> now I'm probably not the only one who is wondering that. I, I said it's coated on the outside. No, you never. You just said lined with. Yeah, it's okay, so it's lined on the outside. There we go. Now, would you take Chuck Norris's kick? Oh, would I take Chuck Norris's uh, kick? To the if I had that hepatitis cup on, I, I might consider. No, because then you lose your bodyguard, though. Well, I said for a week. Oh, only for a week? Yeah, it would only be for a week. Oh, I thought you said for life. Fuck no, I'm changing my answer then, no. <laughs> well, you not. Well, you can do a lot in that week. You can just, like, fucking mess with people. Like, you can get people into fights with you. Huh. <sighs> Alright, I gotta think of a good one for you. I can't think of a good one. Fuck. That's because I'm really good at this. Okay, this is one uh, that uh, Bob hit me up with earlier. Was uh, would you, for a job that's like five thousand dollars a week for like months, like like you get a good six months out of it, and you would get that money every week, but you could not go on anything electronic. Like you couldn't go. You could, you couldn't even use a cell phone for how long? For six months. Well, if we'll, let's make it uh, real, a little bit more realistic and make it like an old Nokia where there's jack shit to do on the phone. Yeah. That that way you can still have a phone where you can, like, call a ride or something if you need one. Or, like, you'd have to have somebody else, like, use the phone for you. All right. Yeah, I could do that. You, like, you could do that if you, like... Nobody, you couldn't use any electronic devices. No games, no computers. Yeah, you don't want to know why? I could always make someone else do it and, do the comment, do, ha, and tell them how to play. Yeah, this is, this is true. You could have, actually, you could watch somebody play video games. You just couldn't use them. Either. Well, I don't know. Does watching the TV count as using an electronic? I don't. Like, if you're not the one to turn, up, to turn it on and you just happen to be in the room watching, does that still count? Now, that's a very good question. I don't know if it would. I had to think. <laughs> I guess it probably would. Count is still using it. Go on, bum friend, get the coins. There you go. I don't know if I could do it. That that would be one of those things like I if I knew that I was gonna be constantly getting laid for that entire time. I would consider it. Like, if I knew for a fact that I was going to get laid for that six months, like, every night, then I wouldn't care too much about not having my video games. Yeah, as long as you have some... Well, I can live without electronics. There's other shit I can do. Well, ever since I got Animal Crossing New Leaf, I get really obsessive over uh, my town and making it perfect. So, like, you know, that six months would just murder my town. But then, like, you know, if I'm making 6000 a week, then I could just, like, fucking pay someone to like, take care of it for me, I guess. 
Yeah, true. Thank you, bum friend. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, bum friend. Um. Okay, I got I got one for you. If you had to live, look at my face first. Okay, if you had to live one whole year homeless, but in turn you get a get a free house with land, would you do it? One year homeless, and then I get a free house, like. Like, everything's free? Like, no taxes, no nothing? Yes, yeah, so you just gotta pay for, like, your utilities and all, obviously. I would fucking do it. <laughs> I, I would literally just take my DS and just... But! Hold up. You gotta let me give you the but. There's a but. It's always a but. It's in Alaska. No house in Alaska. Yeah. For a year. That's why. That's one of those assuming I assuming I survive scenarios. Yeah, big assuming if I survive. Well, technically, I don't. You know, I can't. You know, I can't have a house of my own. I can't. I have to be homeless. But there's places for homeless people to go. Like even in a you can find a place to like fucking hide from the cold. Hmm. So you would. I, you know what? I probably would. I don't think I could. Even though I could get a free house, I don't think I could put up with do that. That's actually the payoff is worth. Yeah. Yeah. See why I chose this? Watch. It charges up automatically. No, that's cool. I mean, I really like that Yum Heart, but this is fucking like amazing. Because it's always staying full. Ow. Okay. Okay, here's one for you. Uh -huh. it's, it's a very quick one. Would you... If you were paid four billion dollars. Four billion dollars. Four billion dollars. But you would have to have a surgery that would make it so that way every time you take a piss, you puke for like a good like 30 minutes. Like that's just the rest of your life. You have $4 billion, but like every time you piss, you have to puke. Oh, God. That is very tough. Uh Well, with that money, I could always get the surgery re reversed. Uh, yeah, you probably well, you probably could. Assuming there's a well, I'm assuming it's like an ex experimental surgery. I don't know. Yeah. Cause you, you gotta think like, just like if you had to do it, like, wouldn't that cause like a whole bunch of medical issues in itself if you puked every time? Ah, oh, maybe. Like that would that would cause a big mess too. Think about it, because like you know, I know, and I'm puking. Like, I can't sleep. I, I have to focus on pissing, and I have to focus on puking. So like, if I have to do both at the same time, well, like, fuck I'm you. Gonna... Sorry. <laughs> We're continuing. Continue. But but yeah, like you would think like one of them would like mess if you had to do both at the same time. So like that could be a very messy situation, especially if you're like in public or some shit. Alright. Okay. I just realized I just ultimately killed myself. No, I didn't. I have half a heart left. That was so stupid on my part. Just kill me. You can't even kill me. Look at that shit. What the? Everything oh. but hearts. Yeah. I'm dead now. There we go. <laughs> now that we now I've showed you what those stupid levels are like. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess, uh, of course, it would probably cost the same amount to get it reversed as they paid you. Yeah, that, that, that would probably, because, like, that's, like, intensive, like, brain surgery and, like, biological reconfiguration and all that. Yeah. So I guess it would be a no, then. Yeah, I don't think I could Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good one. You suck. Uh, I suck. I don't know, this is actually really tough. Cause I like these type of questions. The ones that really make you think. You know, these good hypothetical ones. And any viewers down below, feel free to leave a what-if question for us down below. We may answer it on another video. You know? Oh, you fucking uh, suck. Yeah. That's, that's actually a good idea. Like, let's... I'm actually all for that. If the viewers have any what if questions for us, like, we'll answer them. Yes, I got a heart. Look, it's a beating heart. Mm. That's fucking disturbing, is it not? Hello, Pride. Die, Pride. You're dead, Pride. Cause I, I I like this game. This is actually quite fun. Okay, okay. Here's one that like fucking pushes the envelope a little bit. Um, if would you uh, just fucking for ten thousand dollars, like just have a surgery that makes you every time you jizz, it's a different color. Like it would be red, green, blue. You just have rainbow jizz. <laughs> That is just fucking hilarious, more than anything. For $10 million? I don't know anyone who wouldn't. <laughs> for, something that, for something that's harmless at that, you know? It's harmless, but like... Like, what if it, like... That would be... That would, like, what if you just read and you're, like, you know, messing with a girl and it gets on her and you're like... She's, like, she's gonna fucking immediately panic, like, bleeding... <laughs> That could actually be quite comical at the same time, though. It is comical. Thank you. I was I was actually talking with this uh, uh, with Balmung earlier. Like, what if you actually just like actual rainbows? Like, you just jizz, and then like rainbows pop out of your deck. No. It's like a like a My Little Pony rainbow out of your deck, just like ah. Okay. Everyone knows my opinion on My Little Pony here. Don't they? <laughs> Burn in hell. Sorry. I think I said something along the lines of I would go in the back of the church, like behind. Holy! The that is a lot of fucking enemies. No, but I think I said something along the lines of like I would go behind the cross in the church and just jizz. This is like so a rainbow comes over Jesus's cross. Did you see what would happen? <laughs> I was going to say that's like pretty sacrilegious, and I'm thinking, well, look at the game we're playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you think about it, like, you like you might give a lot of people hope. Like, if you get out of there fast enough and they don't really know what happened, they're going to be like, oh, it's a miracle! It might do some good in the world, actually. But yeah, uh, for $10,000, mm. I would definitely just rainbows. Or rainbow jazz. Yeah, as long as it's one color at a time, that's one thing. If it's two color, if it's like the whole thing at one time, no. Uh, Rainbow. A little too gay for me. <laughs> I would do it even if it was every color. That would be hilarious. No, not the fire ones. Those things are like super fast. Okay. Uh. The gears are turning. That's not a good sign because I smell smoke. Okay, I, I got I got one. 
if you had one night to fuck any girl you wanted, like any one girl, you're like your wife even give you a free pass. But that night, you immediately be incredibly nauseous and like incontinent and everything. Like it just, it would be, the, it would be the. Uh, like the best night ever because it's the one girl you would want, but it's like the worst thing ever because like you're like really messed up on that. Well, that's, that's a tough question because I already have the one girl I want. Oh, that's so sweet, Lee. Um, <laughs> the worst part is I wish you would call me. Oh, you fucking pussy and all. No, it's the truth. I wouldn't have got married if I didn't believe I was with the one I wanted. You know. You know what I mean? That's just me, but. Oh, uh, you're poisoned. And that's Lee Con in a nutshell. He does not play the free pass game. No. No, I've been in relationships like that. They are they're more trouble than they're worth. No, I just meant like fucking like No, I I know, I'm just saying though. I can speak for experience, hell no, even if I No. Alright, speed shots. Look at that shit. Look at how fast. I'm kinda covered in why do you always give me devil rooms when I don't have, like, but three hearts? You bastard. Alright, so, um... <sighs> okay. Here's one. Well, this is more of just a question in general. Who, if you could have any roommate... But... Uh, that would be your only roommate you'd ever be able to have. Only person. Who would it be? Bill Gates. <laughs> Just guys. Money. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if, if I'm living with Bill Gates, then I, I have enough money to get pretty much whatever I want. True. I, I don't think any girl would complain. About me, yes, uh, but living with Bill Gates. But if you got married, you couldn't even live with your wife. Dude, I could send her a check for like millions of dollars every week. I, I, I think that would kind of make up for it. I, we would be financially secure forever. I just wouldn't be living with her. <laughs> She'd have so that part. Like yeah. Like technically, I could spend the entire day over at my wife's place and then just go home to Bill Gates. I gotcha. Um... Sorry, I'm concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you're concentrating. I'm trying to think of a good question. And see, people, that, that's why I bring a dual commentary with me. Because <laughs> if I don't, you get them long pauses where I'm concentrating, taking fucking stupid damage like that. That pisses me off when I take stupid damage. Um, let me think. Hmm, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I don't think what the hell uh, a good question was because uh, I'm running out. <laughs> uh, what about right there? Uh, oh, fucking slot machine, really? Blow it up. I'll take that half heart. I know, it's like. You get through like the simple ones, and then right when we end the recording, you're gonna find out. Oh shit! I should have asked that one. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it's gonna go down. Oh. All right, this one isn't so much a what if question as just a question. Like if you, I, you could basically become part of one video game franchise. If it's like your favorite game, and you just live that as your life for the rest of your life, what would it be? Binding of Isaac. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really fucked up if someone actually said Binding of Isaac. Look how fast I'm fucking firing, by the way. I, I think you made all the emo and masochist fans just really happy right now. Okay. Uh, what one? Uh, 
a very good question. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? If I had to guess, uh, I would say like my would probably be Animal Crossing, just because I would pretty much be financially secure for the rest of my life. Hmm. Do not want to pick that up. Details is all about the money. I don't know. Funny enough, I think it would probably be like our fucking Harvest Moon or, or Rune Factory. Probably Rune Factory more than Harvest Moon, but the Frontier one. You but know what? I like Animal Crossing better than Harvest Moon. So. I know you. Look how much, how fast that I fucking fire. Look at that shit. A fucking, a fucking gunning. Him down. Gonna hit him down. Okay, um. I really don't. Yeah, I think it would have to be either Harvest Moon or Rune Factory. Because, funny enough, I, I've always been a city person, but I actually like like being on a farm and all, too. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of another good one. Have pretty much none at this point because I've given most of my good ones. Okay, what video game franchise would you not want to be a part of? Well, well like as for my life. Yeah. Ah, um, Binding of Isaac probably. <laughs> Why not? Because I actually have like a good life and I don't want it to, you know, be all for naught. <laughs> Um, oh, that is actually a really good, I actually asked a really good question. Get out of the corner. Thank you. That was fucking awesome. What a boom. Yeah. I would have to say probably, fuck you. Slot machine. Probably fucking uh, Binding of Isaac would be mine. Actually, I just saw a better game I would love to, my life to be a part of. What? Skyrim. Yeah, that, that would probably work. God, no. Get the fuck out of here. Take that stupid damage just to get rid of that. The, uh, bean! the bean. Do you know what the bean does? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, here's a good one, actually, if I may. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, what video game franchise actually? Would you say your life more represents? Uh, right now. Personality wise. Personality. Um. I don't know. Like right now, I think uh, Animal Crossing sets my life pretty well. Mm. Oh, thank you. Not just pickaxe. I want the bean. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to die. I died. <laughs> Fuck. And I think that's a good... That is a great place to end it. Now, this has been Binding of Isaac What If Edition. Thank y'all. Yeah, in the comments uh, any what if questions you want to uh, ask us, and we'll do a separate video on it. <sighs> you know what? I think this will be a new series of Let's Play Game while we play What If. The What If series. That's right. We're, this is now officially the What If series. It's, it's a thing. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I've been, of course, Lacan the Hitman. And I've been Detail0026. We'll see you guys next time. Stay freaky, my friends. Peace out. We didn't. <laughs>